this week. So a really cool event. It is, I would say, um, SPI's biggest biggest solar event of the year. So a lot of cool technologies, kind of everybody that wants to showcase their product or their software, they all attend SPI. So we went there, uh, checked out some of the stuff, and we're going to tell you about a very small amount of the things that we saw. Obviously, we couldn't couldn't get to everything, but definitely saw some cool some cool products. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, one of the first products that we saw was from REC. So mm. REC Solar, what do they do? They make solar panels. <laughs> Uh, shout out Phil Trapp, former, exactly. former one of our colleagues that yeah. is over at REC, and um, they actually came out with what I would say was a, a tiny bit of a surprise. I, I would say. Really, so maybe more than a tiny bit of a surprise, but right. a 60-cell, uh, 380-watt residential panel yep. from the top rope for REC. It's I, really cool to see. Yeah, REC, I, before this, what, they were nowhere close to 380. I feel like the highest I've seen for them is 320. You know, yeah. that's But, you know, they, they could have had some more things to the work that just weren't on our marketplace. Yep. Uh, and maybe that's why the jump is, is pretty drastic for us. Might not right. be as drastic for, right. you know, folks that are more familiar with REC. Uh, but it's really cool to see more people getting into that. We call it the high wattage, high efficiency space. Absolutely. And, you know, I think the more the more innovation in that, that space, especially through REC, who's always been what we've kind of call a, a value panel. Totally. You know, lower yeah. wattage, more affordable. Yep. And if they're stepping into that higher wattage and able to keep some of those costs down, right. that's going to benefit the whole industry. Absolutely. And yeah, I mean, I when I was talking to them, um, it, it's, it's called the Alpha Series, by the way. Mm. Uh, so 380 watts, and they were, I haven't seen the actual price yet, but they were claiming, you know, this is still going to be a very low-priced uh, panel in terms of the high efficiency scale. Of course. So kind of one that we've talked about previously, you know, Solaria has kind of been that high efficiency, low cost panel. Be really anxious to see uh, the price point here for REC, but it sounds like it's going to be right there with them. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see it come out. Also yep. the, uh, the 25 year product and performance warranty, Huge, yep. which is, I think that's just kind of what is now to be expected for high, high efficiency really modules. Is. It seems yep. like everybody is making that adjustment. Uh, you know, SunPower was the pioneer there, but yep. we've seen LG, Panasonic, Solaria, yep. and now REC as well. So I think we've kind of established a new standard and warranties. <laughs> yeah, I and think I'm sure it'll continue to get pushed. Right. But There's a few big ones that still don't have it. We won't mention their names right now, but uh, I would not be surprised if they uh, if they step it up here in the near future. So that was REC. Um, another product here, which I don't know all the details of this still. I don't know if you do, but uh, SPAN. It is a smart electrical panel. So we are going to do a little bit more uh, research on this, probably put some more uh, information in the comments, but the way that I understand it, it's a smart panel where you can essentially back up all of the circuits in your home and you can control those circuits. So in terms of what you would want to switch on and off, it's pretty cool. I've seen other products uh, like the Lumen Smart Panel, I think has a product that's similar to this and this is, I'm kind of understanding that Span's product mm -hmm. is close to what Lumen was, but we're going to look into it a little more, but it sounds really cool. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's kind of something that I've never really wrapped my head fully around because it's it's almost like we're entering the digital space for, for, for <laughs> right. panels, right? There are all yep. this analog, you know, the breaker trip, you got to go to the breaker, right. you got to flip it back. Not anymore. <laughs> I think it's a really, really awesome innovation. Uh, you know, these are things that we don't always think about with solar yep. because it needs a tie to the electricity of your home. Everything else is digital. Everything else can be monitored from your phone or your computer. Right. Taking this one step further. It's huge. It's really, I mean, just kind of the next step towards, you know, creating the ultimate smart home where in terms of the efficiency of your home, obviously that's going to help out with your bills, what you're going to pay there. You can kind of uh, figure out patterns in your home, make sure that you're using things at the right time. So it's it's really exciting stuff. And types of stuff like this is, I think it's more more beneficial in towards, terms of talking like grid resiliency and yep. things like that. So a lot of the innovations that come out might, at SPI, are going to kind of, you know, this is what's cool in solar. Right. But what the solar industry as a whole likes to think about is how do we create a more sustainable, more efficient, and more resilient yep. electrical grid. And things like this are giving some tools to homeowners to help do that, which yep. previously weren't available. So Absolutely. these are these are really, really potentially huge, huge products that are right. that are hitting the market. Absolutely. Another cool product, which uh, we actually on the slide we have the uh, we have a product that's already out. This is the Solar Edge. Uh, EV charging integrated solar inverter. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been out for maybe a year, I would say. 
Um, so that's all obviously a really cool product where just less hardware, where the actual EV charger for your electric vehicle is integrated into your solar inverter. SolarEdge now has actually a standalone EV charger, so that's pretty cool. Oh. Um, basically, it's still going to be all connected into that same system, but you know, a couple times where you might want to use this product is let's maybe you went solar last year, mm -hmm. you've got the regular solar edge inverter, and now you've got the EV, and you can actually add a solar edge EV charger. Or if you go solar today, but you don't buy an EV for a few years, having yep. that functionality is great because then it just like we're talking about, we want you know, as much as we can to integrate. Yep. And you know, a lot of people um, we talked about this with SunPower, and I think we will with with LG as well. Yep the more things under one umbrella, some people get really comfortable with that. Right. So that's, that's, a, that's a great space warranty, for solar yeah. to get into. Yeah. Warranty standpoint, you know, customer service things, you know, having, having one less company to talk to is nice. Another um, time when you would want to maybe use that SolarEdge EV charger, uh, or at least just buy the standalone product, is you know, maybe you are going solar now, but you're, you know, maybe you're on the East Coast and your main service panel is in the basement, mm -hmm. uh, probably aren't parking your car in the basement, so you want to have that EV charging uh, station in the garage. So that's that would be a, uh, a way you want to utilize that. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you almost need that inverter <laughs> in the garage. Right. Well, you work. you could still do the integrated one, but you'd have to run more conduits. So it'd be it'd just be a little bit easier this way. Good point. This is the product. I am pretty pumped about this one. Um, LG. Uh, if you've ever looked into going solar, you probably know LG makes a pretty. Uh, you know, high efficiency, very bankable brand name, obviously, solid product. They have the ACE series now. So ACE series, you now have a built-in microinverter. So I know there's other manufacturers that have that, but very cool to see this coming out from LG. Do you know what brand that microinverter is? That is an LG microinverter, my friend. Really? <laughs> yeah, so there mm -hmm. are several manufacturers out there that um, they white label their microinverters. I don't know if that's a widely known thing, but LG will be making their own microinverters. Very sleek looking. Uh, you know, on the slide you can see it's just a small uh, device on the back of the panel, which is similar to what it is for SunPower and Solaria. But you know, and this is phase when they're not built in. They're yep. not that much clunkier. You <laughs> exactly. Know? They're, yep. they're, they're all going to be relatively sleek. All the for built ins. Sure. Yep. Everything with just a plain microinverter. But again, under that one umbrella. Mm -hmm. Question for you. Sure. We know the LG Chem. DC coupled, how's that going to work with the yes. microinverter? Because so, we're talking about the full integrated system, yep. that, those two things don't work. <laughs> That's true. So LG is moving over towards a fully integrated uh, battery and inverter system. So do an AC coupled battery? Yep. It's all going to be right there. So you won't have to do the solar and storage with the LG Chem battery. So that is very, that's, that's on the horizon, very close. Gotcha, that's a lot of innovation all in one, basically. You're going with the AC coupled battery, yep. presumably a monitoring system, and then the Absolutely, yeah. and the microinverter as well, all under the LG. Yep, that's and you know, I think, you know, not to get too far off the topic, but I mean, LG, we all know they have other products. You know, they have washing machines, microwaves, all this stuff. Their roadmap, you know, they're looking for that complete smart home, uh, just that's true. all in that one. and. They're very well positioned uh, to kind of tackle that. So this is this is just one step closer. Um, so that ACE that ACE module, the AC module, uh, 375 watts, um, very small balance of system, um, and yeah, of course it has their 25 year uh, warranties across the board. And that's backed by LG. That is, right? yeah. One so of the things we we we've talked about before, yep. and that LG has brought up to us is they're not going to get out of it. But let's say LG said we're done with solar, all your warranties are backed up by LG and. They're probably not going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, you're probably safe bet. <laughs> right. Yes. Very safe company to put your put your warranties behind. Um, I think maybe the last product we have on here is new energy storage release. Again, I didn't get to spend as much time um, at the SunPower booth as I would have wanted to, uh, but the Equinox storage. So we'll we'll do some more research on right. that. Put it in the comments, but. Sounds like, you know, SunPower just stepping up their game as well right. and having their own battery storage. Yeah, we talked about this a, a little bit uh, a week or two ago mm -hmm. as well with their, um, just their fully integrated system. Yep. You can kind of see the trend here. Every right. single one of these companies is trying to take more and more under their own umbrella, yep. own a little bit more of the system. And it's not a hoarding thing. It's like we talked about. It's it's nice to have things sure. under one umbrella. You know, if you buy your car, you don't want your tires from, <laughs> you know, Dodge, right. your, your engine, engine from Toyota, <laughs> right. you, know, you want them all from the same company. Yep. So this is this is a huge value add, and I think the solar industry is recognizing that. Um, mm -hmm. Getting these, basically the storage with the panels, you can tell what everybody's after. They're after the complete home storage yep. system. Yeah, closed grid, yeah. Panasonic coming yep. into it, you're going to see more 
battery offers, hopefully they continue to drive down the fully integrated system market. Because right. you know, you, you'd like for your if you have an outside, you know, company doing your battery or doing your inverter, you'd hope that they can come in at a cheaper cost. Which is yeah, and I think yeah. that's the trade off is right. right now. It's you know, yes, these new, you know, fully integrated options are out there, but they're coming at a premium. I mean these are getting more yeah. expensive products. So even still, you know, just because these companies have it all in under under one roof, that doesn't mean that you don't want to have your solar edge inverter right. or your end phase microinverters along with you know a uh, you know a different kind of module. As That's well. true. You know, I, we love all these companies, but these are unproven technologies at this point. Sure. So I mean, I'm sure they're going to be fine, but we don't really know. Yep. And one thing we've talked about kind of nauseum with the with battery is we need more competition in the space to drive down the cost because right. that's. You know, being able to kind of retain all of the, the solar energy energy we create, right? That's the huge next step for the solar industry. Oh yeah, because we're just yep. kind of pushing it back to the grid, and you know, battery goes, storage right? is definitely the future. That's sure. the, that's 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 what we need. So yep. more more players in that space, the better for everybody. Absolutely. So I believe that is it uh, for this segment. Uh, Pick my solar, as always. You know, we are an online marketplace. So if you are interested in going solar, come to us. We're going to do an independent design and analysis of the system. We have our vetted network of installers, so we'll get all the local ones to bid on your project, find you a great deal. Um, so yeah, one-stop shop. And definitely want to mention, um, from now until it looks like the end of the year, um, Pick My Soul's referral program is $599. So if you refer somebody and they end up going with uh, Pick My Solar, both you and the person you refer are going to get $599. The reason it's five ninety nine is because if we went one dollar more, you would have to be a ten ninety nine employee. So, don't want to have to make you pay taxes. So that's why you see that kind of funky five ninety nine number. I can't believe it. That's <laughs> quite a quite a deal. Quite a deal. Awesome. Everyone have a great weekend, and we can't wait to see you next week.